Who was doom and gloom after uh, the Rotherham game on Saturday? It wasn't me, was it? <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to another match review here on the channel. My name is James, and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about Reading's big 3-0 win over top of the league Blackburn here in match day four of the championship. I'll tell you what, that was one of Reading's best performances I've seen us put on in a number of years. Maybe going back to when we beat Cardiff 3-1, I can't think of another, I, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think of another performance that stood out to me that was that good. The, the way Reading played today, honestly, the first half was just absolutely phenomenal. Blackburn could not handle Reading's pressing, and it really could tell. You could really tell that Reading's pressing game was just causing Blackburn so many problems. And this is a team that have won three out of three games so far this season. They went to West Brom away and have beat West Brom. Listen, the fact that we've gone ahead and got three points today, I think is absolutely massive. Now, I'm not going to overlook into this. Like, I didn't overlook into the Rotherham loss, and I'm not going to overlook into this 3-0 win. I'm just going to revel in how great Reading's performance was. I just spoke about how poor Reading's performance was the first time round against Rotherham. Let's just talk about how great Reading's performance was today. I mean, when I go to do the Reading roundup, it's really going to be a Jekyll and Hyde type of thing because... How can we go from being so poor on Saturday to being this good on Wednesday? Like, I don't know what Paulins did, but I'll tell you what, he's definitely kicked him into shape. Um, listen, I think Redden's pressing game really, really worked here. Tom Ince, as the shadow striker, just works phenomenally. The man runs like there is no tomorrow, honestly. And just the whole team... Look, if I had to pick a man of the match, it's hard to pick one today because there were so many standout performances. Loom in the midfield was incredible. He was absolutely incredible. Sitting in front of that defence, he would cut everything out. He was tackling for everything. He was absolutely superb. Tyrese Fauna was unbelievable. That was his best performance in a Reading shirt, I thought. It was for Charles' goal, for the third goal fantastic work by him absolutely brilliant Shane Long was brilliant in the air I don't think he was man of the match worthy Tom Mintz ran so much I don't think it was man of the match worthy Andy Yeardon was superb at the back he was the leader that was needed with McIntyre and Holmes he was that experienced head that was needed he's not an out and out centre back but playing right centre back in a back three he looked phenomenal today Ben Burton Diaz was in Andy Yeardon's pocket he got absolutely destroyed in that game. Listen, Ben Burton Diaz was as quiet as anything. That was the quiet. Everyone hyped him up to be this fantastic player, and you can't doubt the goals he scored. But Andy Yeardom had him in his back pocket today. Fantastic work from him. And listen, every time Blackburn started throwing their toys out of the pram, they really did. They just could not handle Reading. I don't know what it was. They were just throwing the toys out of the pram. Going in on tackles, Junior Hoylet, I really was worried that he'd picked up a nasty, nasty injury, but luckily he came back up. Um, uh, they just threw the toys at a pram, yellow cards were being dished out, I know we ended up with five yellow cards, but listen, towards the end of the game, the ref just started handing them out for fun. I thought Reading were brilliant though, I really did think Reading were brilliant. Let's go through a bit of the game, because uh, I've just spoke about how great Reading have been so far. Um, listen, as soon as that 10 minute mark hit, I was celebrating because we didn't concede for the first time this season inside 10 minutes. Um, but 14 minutes in, we got a corner. Uh, some good work down the right-hand side by Redham. Won us a free kick from the resulting free kick. We were able to get a corner. Corner gets whipped in and Redding really have worked on that in the training ground. I'll tell you that for free because Tom McIntyre was there at the front post to smash it in and give Redding the 1-0 win. Lovely header, lovely bullet header. And uh, it worked. They did it again in the first half as well, a couple of times. And Reading really did manage to get in. I thought our set pieces today were some of the best that I've seen Reading play in a long time. I don't know if that's because Blackburn are poor defending set pieces, or I don't know if that's because we've worked really hard on it. But I tell you what, our set pieces looked really good today. Um, I thought after that, we really just controlled the game. I don't think that we dominated it per se, but I think we controlled it so well Blackburn was limited to just no chances honestly they had one chance in the second half I'd say Joe Lumley made a fantastic reflex save um, to stop the young 17 year old centre back who listen I don't know his name but he had a poor game for Blackburn he was at a very very poor game listen 17 years old coming into the first team you know what can you say it just wasn't his night but he looked poor he looked very poor but 
again, you can't really dwell too much on it. He's 17 years old, man. It's a raw kid and he got thrown into that first team pretty harshly, especially against a veteran like Shane Long, who was just using every trick in the book to win every header, to win every single free kick, to win flick-ons, to win just everything. Shane Long was superb again. Uh, we then managed to make it 2-0. Um, they did have a chance. No, obviously I spoke about that chance. Then we went ahead and made it 2-0. Our right wing-back, Junior Hoylet, who, let me say, had an outstanding game as well. Junior Hoylet, a right wing-back, played brilliant today. Um, he managed to break free down the right-hand side and put the ball in the back of the net in the 61st minute. Listen, it was a rocket of a shot. It was a tight angle. We banged it into the near post. It's hit the crossbar, I think, and gone in. It's just an outstanding goal by Junior Hoylet. Superb work from him. Ridden had a chance before that as well. Shane Long broke free up front. Tom Mintz played him in. And yeah, I thought we really could have made it 2-0 there. And I was a bit worried that we were going to kind of rue our chances but we definitely didn't we definitely did not as we went ahead and made it 3-0 when our substitute the returning and making his debut for the season Lucas Well came off the bench and was able to put the ball in the back of the net after some fantastic work by Tyrese Fauna Fauna absolutely brilliant on that uh, well when he managed to break down that left hand side got tackled uh, did a bit of skills and then managed to get tackled by one of the Blackburn players but he won the ball back gave it to Lucas Shaw. Joao then managed to cut inside just a little bit and bang it into the bottom corner. Took a deflection, I think, but listen, Joao's going to be claiming it all day, every day. And it's great to see that Lucas Joao coming back from injury and scoring on his return. But listen, it was just outstanding. Shane Long did come off injured, which I was a little bit worried about. Uh, and Nesta Guinness Walker also came off injured. Let me just give a shout out to Nesta Guinness Walker. You know I've been a big hater of him in these videos. And listen, that was his best performance in a red shirt today. Absolutely outstanding from him. But it was great to see Joe Lumley keep a clean sheet as well, especially after the four goals conceded at the weekend. He made a really good save as well. Really important save at 1-0 to keep it level. And uh, sorry, to keep us in front. And listen, just absolutely, absolutely outstanding from us. And yeah, I'm very, very happy tonight. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Really interested to hear your thoughts. Best performance we've had in years. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been James. I'll see you all for the Reading Roundup coming out on Friday. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.